You know, the funny thing, guys, is to be standing here waiting for the bus, I get the uh, R215, and uh, two of them are coming down the road. I stick my arm out, I wave, they just drive right on by. I guess they're full, but it's amazing. <laughs> anyway, uh, there's a population of that many, there's, they're full. So anyways, we're waiting for the R215, and uh, one comes by every five, 10 minutes, so I got another five minute wait at least for another one, so. Get back at you when we get to the bus, guys. Hey guys, down at the beach today, uh, down by Coco Bungo, uh, 7-Eleven is right on the beach here. You can buy some beer, head out on the beach and have a drink. Anyways guys, back at you. I'm up on top of this large rock at the beach here and just look at the water and the waves. It's a little windy right now but I think the Mavic could handle this. So I'm going to take the Mavic up and show you what the beach looks like from up above. Not very many people swimming today. Okay, let's go and get the drone ready. Let me just show you how I, what I've got here. I brought the Mavic Pro. The controller, the phone, and I did bring the Avata along too, just in case it uh, lightens up as far as the wind goes. So this is what we've got. The controller, the smartphone, the drone. I forgot to bring um, lenses for the front so the, you know, the, the uh, NV lenses or what have you. Okay guys, I'm flying along here, uh, trying to get some nice shots of the beach, what have you, and shortly I get a notification, my batteries, or my battery is low. So instead of, you know, chancing it, I decided to come back. So I push the uh, return home button and let it come back to home where I took off from. So right here, it makes a turn. It's going to come back home. You can see we're well above the uh, the hotels. And it orientates itself. Once it gets to the home position, it orientates itself pointing in the direction of the takeoff. So th this is the direction I the drone was pointed when I took off. So that's the direction it points when it's uh, gonna land. So it's gonna start landing now. It's, um, it says on the controller, um, landing. So I thought I would turn the uh, camera 
straight down so I could see where it was going to land. And as I'm pointing the camera straight down, you can see the apartment building right there and pretty close. So I fly it out a little ways. And I actually took off from that uh, one of those seats there. But as you can see, when I fly over, the wind pushes me right back into the hotel. Top floor. There I are. Sideways for the moment. And then it decides it's going to flip over and upside down. And it's just hanging off the edge. That's where I can see it from the ground. Right there. So this is it, guys. The wind took my drone, landed it on the top floor up there. I can see it in the railing. But what I'm getting is a bunch of flack. Like the owner of the building is in Mexico City. He's not here right now. And that room is locked. <laughs> yeah, sure. And the guy won't let me on there, up there. He's waiting. They won't even let me on the property. So my drone is hanging up there right now. Yeah. And this little guy over here, this guy right here. He has authority. He says, I can't go on the property. They even stopped me from going in the gate. And it's on the top floor. Like Marco? Yeah, Marco and, and Will. Polo. Marco Will. and Will. Marco Polo. <laughs> Marco, 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 Marco. And, uh, look at this view here. My mm. goodness, this is great. Indeed. So, Hello. Um, 